Hey there guys, I'm Danks564 and this is continuation of our Let's Play of Kingdom Come Deliverance. And, well, we... I, I sold all the stuff, right? Um, not all the stuff, some of the stuff. Probably like half of it. I got 7.1k, I repaired all the stuff, I bought this, I don't know, doublet or whatever it's called. Uh, let me see. This combat jupon. I don't know. Basically, it goes over my armor, increasing my armor, of body armor even more, so that's good. And what I'm thinking right now, I probably should buy myself uh, an armor for a horse and all the other stuff for a horse. By the way, do you have... Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you sell me, like, leg armor that's chainmail and not padded? I wonder. Uh, what does it do? Skill book on strength? Yeah, sure, we'll buy it. I wish it could you could sort this thing by by type of where where it goes. I don't think you can though. Hmm. I'm pretty, there should be like right there should be something uh, on on the legs that is chainmail not padded to increase my chainmail maybe also maybe like some long sleeved armor on because now we have money might as well spend it right mm -mm. not good enough. This one I think is 14. This is... well, I don't think it's worth it. Right, those. Holy crap, 2.2k, really? Okay, let's... Uh, might as well just sell these things. And, well, we'll, we'll haggle a bit. Can we do something about... I... I know for how about for this? Is this enough? Well, a little more. How about two thousand? Well, well, he might not take it. Let's go this. Finally. But that means we can actually sell him more. I'll probably do it off screen, but uh, yeah, that, that's good. Oh, oh, right. I need to equip it. So, yeah, pretty damn good armor. Now, what should we do? I think we'll continue with the main quest. Alright, we need to go there. Um, but just before I go, let me show you how much stuff I have still left to sell <laughs> from that camp raid. How is my um, nourishment? I can eat. So now we have a place to stay here, you know, I would expect more, considering I pretty much single-handedly cleared the thing. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> that's what we have. That's pretty expensive, some of it at least as well. I don't know, there's at least a couple of thousand here, I'm thinking, overall. Now, let's go here, alright, here. Um, continue with the main quest for now, and then we'll see. Okay. Uh, there are also some side quests we can take here in Rata again. Which I should, should probably do. Uh, do we, we probably need to go upstairs. Do we need to go to the third floor, or... I think so, right? Oh, no. My lord, I'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at Probislavitz. That comes as no surprise. What has happened? The men reported two more attacks today. 
Ah, Henry. I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for you. Come and join us. My lord. Greetings, lad. The bandits raided a few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also attacked Merhoyed, and that's a much more serious matter. Merhoyed? Matthias is working there. They attacked right after the battle in Pervislavitz. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. The villagers held them off. And they even took one captive. He's wounded. And we can still interrogate him. Your graces. I hope I'm not intruding. On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Or so I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groshen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. Uh, that is to say, well-made facsimiles, as we call them. Uh, fac... what? I don't give a fac what you call them. <laughs> I want to know what they're facking worth. That's just it, sir. They're worth nothing. Are you saying what I think you're saying, Master Tobias? Um... This here... Is just a pile of copper. Kurra! Fuck! Plated with silver, so it's still of some... ...worth. <laughs> Kurva! Fuck! Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work. Especially to make such plausible forgeries. They would need a well-hidden foundry, several craftsmen, <coughs> and a source of material. But they could just be brought in from somewhere else, could they not? Well, they could, but then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these groshes seem freshly minted, so... So we are Fuck. facing a foe who has almost limitless sources of coin. That's all we need. Doppler devil. Well, gentlemen, it's clear what we have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. If they haven't already. I doubt it, sir. Merhayed wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they did. Well, lad, I said that we'd have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. You've already proved your worth as an investigator, so I'm putting my faith in you again. Go to Merhayed and question that captive. Find out where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. And while you're at it, see if you can find some clues as to where this counterfeit coin is coming from. Very well, sir. Good luck. We're counting on you. All of us. <laughs> Come report to me as soon as you know anything. <laughs> that, that's a lot, that's a lot of stuff now. for me to do. <laughs> uh. It's like uh, the joke, like the Soviet soldier is, uh, the sergeant is, uh, you know, training a Soviet soldier and asking him, what the hell will you do if, um, you know, imperialist pigs will send their tanks on you? I will grab the RPG and I shoot, I'll shoot the tank and destroy it. Good, what if they'll send an infantry? Well, I'll take a machine gun and shoot them and kill them all. Good, and what happens, Master Sergeant, am I the only one in this freaking Soviet army? That's how I feel right now. Am I the only person who is capable of doing anything here? Um, what what kind of quests are you giving? God here. With you. Yeah, with you too. Uh, anyone need needs help? Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? How should I now? Uh, okay. That was weird. Doesn't mean that there's nobody who needs help or something. Whatever. Uh, well, we get we'll get back here later, I guess. Well, while we're here, might as well just check another tavern and and see if uh, if the other innkeeper knows anything, right? And yeah, that's the cobbler. And that's the other tavern. You. Yep, the innkeeper. How come you wear? Uh, does anyone need help here? How should I know? Okay, apparently not. I'm glad you came. Whatever. Didn't want to help you anyways. Merhoyada. 
There, there is the horse merchant here, right? I might actually go and see if the horse merchant has any... Um, I know. Horse stuff that I want to buy. Oh, come on. These guards, god damn them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just, let's just pay the toll and let's... Let's be off. Yeah, I'll have to pay them. Or I can maybe try just... You know what? I'll pay them. Maybe it'll improve my relationship with them. Uh, yeah, yeah. No. Merhoyad. Come on. Considering there's the camp, I don't know if there's... Maybe... I don't think, well, they probably left. Like, right? All of them probably left from the camp. So that's why... What do you know? What do you want? Oh, just a beggar. What happened to you? Sir, if you only... He told me he'd marry me. Even though his mother forbade it. And then they killed him. They killed him, the dogs. And his mother told everyone it was my fault. And now I have a child and we live like beasts. I hide in the woods at night and during the day beg here at the road. Could you spare a little change? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, give something. Why did you join? Eh, uh, whatever. Of course. Thank you. I don't think I'll get anything out of it. So, continue off to Merhayat. Then we probably might find try to find the treasure. Probably the one that's uh, I'm thinking near Scalitz. Well, depending on... I don't care about the carcass, really. It's never anything good, usually. Uh, attack on the road? Sure. Where? Where the hell are they? Show yourself! Oh, there, there's one. How about we try to shoot him first? Like that? Uh... Yeah, let's let's talk to him. Take your hardware and get the hell out of I understand. Whatever. It's not like he had anything useful. I misclicked there, but whatever. Uh we are almost there though. No, not not even close. Let's let's just travel there. Uh we've just been there, didn't we? Is that... Okay, let's just finish him off, shall we? Let's see what he had. Well, we can sell that, for sure. We'll take that. Uh, we'll take that. Uh, no. No, don't really care. Armor kit, sure, we'll take that. Mm, anything else? Let's just take Roshan. Go away. Anything I took from him in here? Doesn't look like it. Armor kid though. Let's put it away. Okay. Hopefully it will not trigger again. <laughs> we'll probably have to sleep in Merhoyet somewhere. Because it'll be middle of the night, and I don't think... Okay. Is there an inn here? Somewhere. Doesn't look like it. Can I sleep somewhere in here, maybe? Anybody home? Who do I need to talk to? To find out where where I need to go. Okay, this guy is coming. So, can I please? 
Can we talk? What do you think you're doing? You Come on. There we go. What happened here? What happened here? Horror of horrors, Master. We were attacked by some bandits, and then the plague broke out. Jesus Christ. That's right. The Almighty has sent this punishment on us. Um... Okay, where where's the captive? Bandits. Who were they? Some thieving rabble. What do I know? Maybe those damned humans. But they spoke Czech. Ask the captive at the Melichars. Uh, did you put up a fight? Managed to fight them off. Well, we were lucky. Young Straw saw the gang a little way out of the village and ran to warn old Melichar. If it wasn't for that, none of us would be here. It looks like you fended them off, though. I can't see any burned houses. They had no time for that, but they've left us with fresh graves. Young Straw himself got cut up something terrible, and a few others. We've a number of wounded, and now the plague to crown it all. Christ preserve us. Hmm. Melihar, Straw, who are they? Melihar, Straw. Those names are new to me. They're locals. Melikar's been in charge here since old vassal Smil from Neuhof passed away. May God grant him eternal peace. And Straw, that's the local woodsman. Poor fellow. The bandits killed his son, and his wife has the disease. Okay. Uh, where can I find Melikar? Where will I find Melikar? If you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, Melikar's is the house on the left. Okay, and Straw? I'd like to talk to Straw. I see. Well, if you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, you'll see Straw's house on the right. Okay, and what's what about what was that about the plague? And the disease? Tell me something about it. I don't want to tempt fate by talking about it. Makes me shudder to think of it. There's not much to tell anyway. It hit us just after that rabble left. First the horses died, then livestock, and now it's people. Like Malikar's wife, poor thing. I think they they poisoned here or something. Uh, I'm looking for Matthias. Am I looking for Matthias? I'm looking for Matthias. I think he works at the stud here. Matthias, Matthias. Wait, I know. He's not been here long. Isn't that right? Not long. It's true. Well, those bastards got him. He's laid up at the stud now. His arm's in a bad way. But at least he's still alive. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. That's all. Uh, who the hell was Ma Matthias? Uh, I don't really remember. So we can ask local bailiff about the situation here. Is that a second root? Pestilence. Okay. I guess. I got to Merhayat. I went to see my friend... Matthias settled there. Unfortunately, it turned out to have been seriously injured during. Okay. Have I met him some at some point? I don't know. I have to find the bailiff to assist. Okay. Uh. Well. Well, let's go and talk about the plague. I guess. Where where do I get into this building from? Okay, from here it looks like. So where where the oh? Are you Melikar? Oh, aye, that's me. I need to speak with the prisoner. And why is that? Who might you be? Henry, envoy of Saradze Kobola. I'm here to investigate the attack. I'm sorry, I have other things on my mind right now. In case you hadn't noticed, we have pestilence raging here. And Sir Adzig won't help us with that any more than he helped us when we were attacked. Mm. Uh, no one could have known what have happened. No one could have known what would happen. If Sir Adzig hadn't pissed off into the woods and stayed in the camp, they would never have dared attack us. If Sir Radzik hadn't gone into the woods, he'd have left so many to attack here that you'd never have fought them off. Makes no odds now. 
We have a different problem to deal with. If there's anything I can do, just tell me. There's a stable hand living with us here, Matthias. Yes, I know him. And he knows some girl who helps out in the monastery infirmary. Your hanker, I think her name is. She might know someone to turn to, if she's actually there. Okay. Um... You could have sent someone long ago. It might have crossed your mind to send someone there sooner. People are barely venturing outside their own homes, they're so scared. And word has got around that the plague is raging here. If someone met us wandering about, well, I'd fear the worst. And besides, you're the envoy of Serati Kobular himself. Your word will carry more weight in the monastery than some lowly peasants. Okay, I'll, I'll well, see what I can do. Monastery. Probably our best hope. Thank you. If I have to go to the monastery, I need to know as much as possible about the disease. I'll definitely need to know its symptoms. They're bound to ask me that. It's hard to say. My wife is feverish. Others have the chills. I heard some are throwing up. Others still are breaking out in sores. But why don't you see for yourself? People talk a lot and I don't know what to believe anymore. Very well. I'll make the rounds. I've daubed lime on the afflicted houses. But don't stay too long in those homes. <laughs> that I can promise you. Okay. Uh, okay, she's not... Who's that? If you want to go in, talk to Melika. Hmm. He painted with lime, he said. Where is the torch? I guess that's the one. You're out of luck. I'm old Straw, don't you know? Straw! You've taken my son. But you shan't take my wife. You. Uh. I've come to help your wife, actually. I've come to help your wife. To help her over to the other side. Isn't that God's own truth? I'm sorry that they killed your son. I truly am sorry. But if you don't want that disease to take your wife, you'll let me see her right away. I can help her. I... I don't want her taken, no. There. You see? Eh? Uh, what? Are you a quack? Something like that. Then go to it. Go! Uh, where is she exactly? Uh, is she in here somewhere? Okay, there she is. Hmm. Fever. Just like Melchar's wife. Is that it? Hmm. Fever. Just like Melchar's wife. Okay. Any any more of them? In here? Um I don't know. Probably yes over there. Who are you? Who are you? Can't you see we have the plague cross? Uh, I'm here to help. My name is Henry. I'm going to the monastery to get help. It's long past time. The Lord's already taken my poor Anthony. And what do you want from me? I need to know how the illness afflicted your husband. Yes, I'll tell you everything. But first help me bury my husband. I'm too weak. And Malikha said the dead should be buried at once. Um. Mm. Okay. Of course, I'll help you. Thank you. Pretty sure I have a plot plot armor. The house. There's a lovely linden tree there. I understand. I'll dig the grave there. Thank you. When you're ready, come back. I'll say goodbye for now. Most okay, where's my spade? Eternal rest. 
Um, how do you get there? Through here? Oh well, looks like somebody already tried to, to dig a grave here and then uh, covered it up. Okay, grave have been dug out. Yep, grab the body. Off we go. Now, do you have a bathhouse here, by any chance? But I'm pretty sure it's not. It's not plague. I'm pretty sure it's some sort of a poison thing. Where's the woman? Will you please tell me about it? Certainly. My husband had the fever all over. Anything else? He had great pains in his belly. He said it felt like it had been stuffed with rocks. He was writhing all night through. It must have hurt terribly. Thank you. Yeah, definitely poison. Definitely not plague. Because I'm pretty sure, you know, they wouldn't have belly pains. If it was a plague, right? And come on, it, it just happened way too fast for it to be plague. Yep, another one. So who's here? Brother, dearest brother, is that you? Uh, yes, I'm your brother. Yes, it's me, your um, brother. I don't is nearly here. We need to get the scallops for the fair. Um, tell me, brother, how are you feeling? Wait, you're, you're not my brother. You're one of those brutes. Brother, lock the door. They're back again. Please, God, no. Brother, don't you recognize me? It's me. I'm the, your brother. I was gone for a long time. I come back home for Advent, remember? Yes, uh, yeah, yes. I remember. Give me a drink of water, brother. Oh, I'm thirsty. Terribly thirsty. I feel like I'm burning in hell. I can drink a pitcher of water and right away I'm parched again. Hmm. Uh, so, do we give him any water? Are you here? Okay, I guess we found out something about what's that you investigate the plague okay we've been here we've been okay let's go to those houses I guess um we've been here right no we haven't who goes there uh you oh no i talked to him right so that's the 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 chief's house that's the thing okay let's go over here and anything in here yep So hey there, Vincent. Jesus, lad, what are you doing here? Can't you see the pla I'm here because of it. The monastery sent me to help. God bless you, boy. It's about time. I need to know exactly what you're suffering from. Oh, I see. Well, I have a dreadful fever. My wife too. I recall almost nothing of yesterday. I was raving for most of it. Is there anything else? Apart from the fever? Stop. Well, forgive me for saying so. The shit just pours out of me. I can't keep anything in. I'm completely worn out. My wife's the same. You have my thanks. I'll try to bring help. Wait a minute, will you? I have one favour to ask. 
Okay, what do you need? So tell me. Mm. I need to write my will. Can you write? Uh, I can. I might manage that. Excellent. So get writing. Yes. I, Vincent, son of Vincent, grandson of Vincent of Mehoyed, do bequeath my estate and all my worldly goods to my wife, Wilma. If my wife were to pass away with me, mm -hmm. I bequeath all to my cousin, Dobesh, at this time the cobbler in Janowitz. In no event shall my prodigal son, Elia, the layabout and good-for-nothing, inherit a single groschen. Mm -hmm. All customs and traditions aside. Um, should I write that too? Yes. And then write, the executor of my last will is to be my good friend, Father Fabian, presently mm -hmm. the parish priest of the Church of St. Martin in Sassel. Anything else? Mm -hmm. This will was written down by. What is your name? Henry, presently in fealty to Sir Radzig Kobola. Punished? Well, I never. For what? That will add some weight. Here, take my ring so Fabian will know it to be truly from me. You can never be sure nowadays. Okay. Make it stop. Uh, what did you son? What did you son do? Son Elijah. What did he do to you? Christ Almighty! Trying to interfere, are you? What did he do? Everything. He was to be married, and instead he ransacked the house and ran off. The little fucker. Last we heard, he was some jackhand in Sasso. Boozing, playing dice, lying and cheating oh, for a living. Such a disgrace. Okay, where can I find Father where can Fabian? I find Father Fabian? Pretty sure the church. Well, where do you think? It's in Martin's church, of course. Okay. I'll be going right. then. Yes. Go now. Go before you can. It's not disease. Relax, dude. It's poison. It's quite obvious. Now, I need to go to Sasa. Also, yeah. Oh, right, right, right. I read about this thing. And I'm pretty sure I need to shoot that thing down. And I need to shoot not in the uh, actual, like, tree branch but in the canopy of the thing like in the, where the leaves are and the uh, and the things and something will fall down apparently no it's not that long of a walk so for some reason I was expecting quite a longer walk but well, let's go and talk to what's her name the girl first or we yeah we'll talk to the girl first if she'll not wake up we'll we'll just sleep here a little bit where exactly is she um she's probably here somewhere where is she you know what let's wait till morning it'll be easier uh torch go away and uh, let's sleep Say, you know, till seven. And then we need to do the last will and testament of the guy. Go to the church. Yeah, there are actually quite a few things we can do here. So we'll we'll talk to the what's with the charlatan basically. We'll talk to uh, Johanka. That's her name. Uh, we'll shoot down the thing. There she is, Johanka. Wait. Uh, Merhoyed is raided and there's plague there. I don't know if you've heard about it, but Merhoyed was attacked. Oh God! How is Matthias? Wounded in the arm. He's being brave about it, but his injury looks bad. I need to see him. Before you go, there's something else. How are you, what? Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyed. Their livestock has died off, and now the people are coming down with it too. I thought maybe someone here might know what to do. Merciful heavens. How awful. 
It's a good thing you've come here. If there's any hope, this is the place to find it. You need brother Nicodemus, the monastery physician. He may know how to deal with it. Very well. I'll try to come back when you know more. Thank you. Your host. Okay, will do. Now, mm, probably I should wash myself. Where's Nicodemus? He should be here, right? Nicodemus, wake up. There's a plague outbreak in Merhoyad. Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyad. Johanka said that you might be able to advise. A disease, you say? How intriguing. Uh, yes, intriguing, sure. Can you help? Yes, yes, it's very interesting. But can you help these people? I can't say at this point. I need to find out a little more. Tell me, has the whole village come down with it? Um, about half the houses? No, I mean, not yet. Several households have, around half the village. Mehoyed? Isn't there a stud farm there? And what of the animals? Did they get infected too? Yes. yes. Stud farm. And, yeah, the animals died. And they've all died off. The horses, the cattle, chickens, and now it's got to the people. That is most intriguing. What are we to do about it? Do you know the symptoms? Yes. Yes, more or less. Excellent. I have several extensive volumes here in the library. Describe the epidemic, including the symptoms, and we could take some guidance there. Can you read? Uh, yes. Yes, I can. Excellent. So follow me to the scriptorium. Ooh, is that where I need to find... what's it called? Necronomicon. Thank you, Brother Nicodemus. Where do we start? So, where should we start? Evidently there's something amiss in the digestive tract. In the what? The digestive tract. Um, right. Ah, the trouble lies between the mouth the and the eyes. Uh-huh. We can rule nothing out at this stage. You look in the Breviarum to Sickness Causa. It's a renowned manuscript from Salerno, written by one Johann of St. Paul. But I don't know Latin. Fortunately for you, our brother librarian is translating these momentous medical works into the common tongue. Study the breviary carefully and compare the symptoms with the recorded cases. That will guide us. I'll try the proven classics. Avicenna and his Canon Medicinae and Galen's Magnum Opus. Okay. So, are we going right now? Thank you, Nicodemus. You're the best. Oh! Oh really? It's it's right here. Well, oh, crap. Yep. Uh. Just know that the body of a man is complicated blood. Yeah, yeah. But if there is an excess of one, it warms the body, disturbs the equilibrium, lets to aim. Okay, even death. The excess of mucus. Uh, dairy. Marcus may also lead to diarrhea. For example, the body endeavors to get rid of it by coughing. No, I don't think there's anybody coughing. The whole agony is f further exerted by fever, often accompanied by malices. After a few days, the rash or, or spots appear. People often become infected by uh, association with a sufferer, but not everyone so succumbs. Nepetheria does not infect any does not infect animals. Okay, plague caused by black bile functions often ex exhibit many signs. This include fever accompanied by malis. Uh, ma I don't know what's it, what what that stands for. Often alternating between spastic cough. I don't think anybody coughed. Perhaps even diarrhea when the body endeavors to rid itself of excess of bile, black bile, and great thirst. Great thirst, there was a great thirst. After a few days, uh, sores erupt on the body, on the neck, under their jaw, in the armpits and groin. Uh, later black spots are seen on the fingers, nose, mouth, and other protrusions of the human body were accumulated. 
gall settle, it spreads among people, but some people are not affected. Small animals do not suffer from the plague, but bigger ones may... I think that's not what it is. A profusion of yellow bile can lead to the dysentery, which is manifested by various signs, primarily by violent diarrhea. Vomiting is preset only rarely. The sick also suffer from terrible thirst, abdominal cramps, and fever. That's it. Uh, it is transmitted from person to person, but animal hmm, do not suffer from it. Okay, but there are also other ways in which the inner humors are disrupted, disturbed, and the blood weakened. Once issued by poisoning, there we go, which is manifested by fever and delirium, stomach ache. Yep, that's it. Uh, bring bring convulsions, diarrhea, and great thirst. If a person is poisoned by gas, for example, in mines near the swamps or similar places, there often appears on him a rash around the nose, a mouth. However, if this rash does not occur, if the person is ingested through f poisonous ingested food consumed, poisoning is not transmitted between humans or animals, but if they all drink, for example, from the same source of water, then people are infected as well as animals. The later often sooner. Yep, poison. Where's Nicodemus, goddammit? I know what tails them. Yes? Poison. From water. Poisoning from tainted water. Really? That sounds rather unlikely. But if Master Johann of St. Paul's says so. Who am I to contradict him? We shall have to prepare some medicine at once. Okay, can can I help? I could help with that. Really? Yes. I know my way around the alchemistic arts. An ordinary fellow who knows the arts of physic? Who would have thought it? Excellent. I'll give you the recipe. And you have my permission to make use of the monastery laboratory. I'll get started right away. I, meanwhile, shall head straight to, uh, where was it again? Merhoyed. Oh, yes, Merhoyed. I'll take your hanker with me. She has no equal in caring for the sick. Once you have the medication ready, hurry after me. Thank you, brother. Okay. Uh, I need you to cure the captive first. There's one man there who needs your care more urgently than anyone. He's an important witness in the investigation of some murders. Out of the question. I shall spend time with the sick in order of their medical needs, not your worldly needs. Oh, you son of a bitch. <sighs> you could say be, be saving lives, goddammit. Before you go, though, uh, uh, that's not the one. And that's not the one. Saver Schnapp's not that. Merhoyat Remedy. I need valerian, thistle, and charcoal. Can we get that? Uh, come on, get out. Where is he? Where's goddamn Nicodemus? Just, he just got out of here. The bastard, where did he disappear to? I guess he just teleported. Well, that is unfortunate, because he had all the ingredients. I don't think I have... I don't definitely don't have charcoal. And I don't think... Uh, no, I don't have wormwood. I have wormwood. I think we need something else. Is there... Um, there's no alchemy up here. Is there an alchemist here that I can buy stuff from? Well, maybe from the trader. Okay, let's do it. First, though, let's shoot that thing. Okay. Need to back up a little bit further. Uh, even further, so I can shoot it further. There we go! Now, what do we need exactly again? How are you, Henry? 
It's charcoal, thistle, and something else. I don't think it's wormwood, but it looks like wormwood. Um, you. Okay, next, next, there we go. Oh, right, valerian, thistle, and charcoal. Pretty sure we have thistle, so we need valerian and charcoal. Let's go see the trader first. And, yeah, besides we need to give the thing to the guy. We'll take care of the charlatan there. Awesome. Oh, right, and the will and testament of the guy. Uh, no. Food, do I need... Mm. You know what, I'll throw that away, because it's already kind of bad. And eat dry meat. And some dried fruit. Good. Now. First, I guess we'll go and uh, drop off the will. For now, let's do something like that. Okay. Hopefully it will not be something... Oh, who the hell are you? Priest? You? Uh, Vincent from Merhoyet sent me to you. Father, Vincent of Merhoyet sent me to you. What's the matter, my son? Um, I've brought you his will, I guess. I'm bringing Vincent's last will and testament. Almighty Father, be merciful. What happened? Master Vincent has been taken seriously ill. A disease has spread in Merhoyed. Yes, I did hear that people are sick in some village hereabouts. God in heaven, but Vincent is still alive? Yes, for now. Let us hope the good Lord will leave him here with us a while longer. Thank you for bringing it to me. If Vincent passes on, I'll see to his wishes. Here, take a few. Thank you, Father. Okay, that's done. Now. Uh, what? I'm in a private area? Seriously? Horse, where are you? Let's go give the stuff to the charlatan. And then we'll need to find some ingredients. Uh, where is he? Wait. No, I passed him by. Where is he? Oh, there he is. You. God be with you. Uh, give him the items. Tooth. The tooth. It isn't. But then again, one day it could be. Yeah. Okay. Come now. Got some bandages out of it and the branch. Excellent. And how did you get it? I had to shoot it down. Watch out for this man. <laughs> well, there wasn't any other way. Okay. So we've got all that sorted out. And now, to the next task. Uh, what? My reward? Do you have any reward? About my reward. Not so fast, young man. There's one more thing. It's rather... complicated and... Um, delicate. What thing? A shroud. What now? Shroud? Isn't that... Yes. Okay, A yeah, burial thing. You want me to take a dead person's clothes? I'm just supposed to take a dead person's clothes. Christ, no. I need a burial shroud. The precious enveloping garment in which the deceased is buried. God save you, Henry. Okay, does it matter who I take it from? And does it matter who I take it from? It, it to needs you, to be someone who lived an honest life. And I have just the fellow. A good man by the name of Lokota who recently passed on. Right. 
So where can I find him? His family is waiting for the funeral. For now, he's lying in the small church. Oh, that that guy that yes, okay, I get it. Uh, who, who was this lo who Lokota? Was Lokota? I know only a little, but according to the locals, he was an honorable man. You should certainly try to ask around. Okay, uh, let's see. There are some traders here, but I don't think that are the type of traders I'm looking for. I need uh. This woman's model is just the, like the one, the heretic one from, uh, what's it called? Yeah, it's it's just food stuff, isn't it? It's the same model of the from of the woman from that farm, from Ujits, from over here. I guess she escaped. <laughs> uh, uh, and yeah, she she it looks like she just sells sausages. Who's the man who just died? Who's the man who died? The one who's lying in the... Oh, that was old Lokota. He was a respectable fellow. Okay. Uh, how did he make his how living? How did he make a living? He was a butcher of some renown in the region. Okay. Was he from around here? Was he a local? Oh, no. He came here from Vlashim. Vlashim? an argument with his brother. We okay. We were too keen on him at first. His trade took customers away from our old butcher, you see. But we soon realized he was a decent man, and we all grew to love him. Okay. He was from Vlashem. What about his family? It's a sad loss. What about his family? His wife, Lucy, passed away a long time ago, poor soul. He was okay, Lucy passed away. Since then. He never laughed from the heart anymore. But he's left two sons behind. Peter and Mark. Okay. What about his sons? What are his sons like? Oh, they're sturdy men. Sturdy and straightforward. Mind you, Peter doesn't have any sense of humour that you'd notice. He takes everything as seriously as a sermon. Marks them all open sort and a little superstitious. Okay. So make fun of him. Gotcha. That's all I needed to know. He's from Vlashitz or something. He's a butcher. His wife died. He has two sons. Um, well, let's go and try to do that mission then. While we're here. Uh, I'll still need that charcoal and the other stuff so Welcome. yeah I guess I can I need to talk to him first before I actually take off the shroud how may I how may I serve my condolences condolences thank you words are hard uh, Lord be with you I guess it's a goodbye I came to say farewell farewell to a relative I've come to pay my last respects to a dear relative have you I've never seen you before I believe I'm your cousin. Um, Vlashem, Vlashem, not Vlashets. Okay, we're from Vlashem. Unlike yours, my father never left Vlashem. He must have told you where our family comes from. He never talked about him much. They didn't see eye to eye. Uh, you're right. Bad blood. For a long time, I didn't know my father had a brother. So then you know my father also married a woman from Vlashem. Uh... Shit. What's her name was? Not Ludmilla, I don't think not Ludmilla. Uh What was it? God damn it. Was it Theresa? Well, I didn't know Theresa very well, but... Uh... Yeah, it wasn't. What the hell? Are you serious right now? Uh, 
What the hell, dude? Yeah, I lied, but come on. Let's be reasonable here. You want to fight right, right here in front of your father's uh, dead body? Okay, come on, just fall down already. Come on, just go down. Finally. I'll just have to take it, I guess. Did it, did it? Is that what I need to take? Yep, I did. And yeah, I need to give it to him. Okay. I guess worked it worked one way or the other. <laughs> but come on. He was stupid to do that. Henry. Yep, hello. Welcome, Henry. So, here's the shroud. I have the shroud. I have the... Lord Almighty, be quiet! Not here! You don't want everyone to see it, do you? Wait for me at my place. And where is your place? Okay, you go there. And I'll for now will... Uh... There was a trader somewhere in here. I'll go to the trader. We need charcoal and one other thing. I remember how it looks, so... And I think I remember how it's called, so if it, he has it there, I'll probably buy it. Okay, trader. I really hope you have some, some stuff that I need. Uh, charcoal, yes. Oh, well, let's buy three. And we need... No, he doesn't have it. God damn it. Can we do something about the price? Oh, I I didn't mean to tackle. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll pay it. Okay then, uh, where else can I find the, the thing though? Oh, there's an herbalist here, god damn it. Where though exactly? Okay, somewhere over there, there should be an herbalist. Uh, there's no herbalist here. Is it inside? No inside, this is the armor. Or is she an herbalist? I thought that's sausage seller. Yeah. What time is it? It's already noon. So if there was an herbalist, it should be right here, right? Could it be that she's somewhere in here? I know, I'm saying she, but... I don't know. It's because both of these are women. Okay, doesn't look like it. Who's that guy? Yeah, have some wine. Hmm. Well, that's a bit odd, but... Okay. 
Well, let's go and give the shroud then. Okay, that looks like that's here. Uh, okay. And there he is. Uh, here's the shroud. Help you now. Good work. Yes, well, it wasn't easy. I'm sure. That's also why. What happened? That's where he lives. Let's teach him a lesson. Oh crap! Fuck! Henry, delay them. What? How? There's a reward for you in the trunk. Son of a bitch! That's a setup. Okay, you. He's not here anymore. He swindled me too. I came here to throw his potions in his face, but it looks like he hasn't been home for a while. He probably ran away before his trickery could catch up with him. Bastard. Either way, he'd better not show his face in this town again. Let's go. I'm glad you came. Okay, that that was better than expected. Uh, is is it in here? Is there anything else here? Okay, yeah, that's Pondered unicorn horn. <laughs> uh, and there's a book here, so something useful. That and that. I'll take it. Oh, this is quite expensive. Okay, that's good. And I guess we'll open this thing as well, because we're here, and it's here. Okay, that's unlocked. Uh, not, nothing useful. Right, so where the hell do I get the thing? For the antidote. I don't know. Any chance the herbalist showed up? Otherwise, I'll have to go back to the... What's it called? Ratai, maybe? Or maybe Ladechko or something. Basically, somewhere far away. God damn it. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit lost here. Okay, we can get through here. Nope, herbalist is not here. Where is the next herbalist? Somewhere. There was there was one here. Uh, there's none here. There are two labs here, but no, no, no cellar because the one that was here was, he just left. Well, okay then, off we go to Lidechko. Uh, by the way. Yeah, that, that was finished. Off we go to Lidechko then. Hopefully we'll be able to, like, we'll be intercepted somewhere near, because it'll be much faster to just go from here somewhere to there. Okay, no luck. I guess we're going all the way to Ledechko. So at, least, at least it's not that far. Right? Okay. 
we need to go back over there and back west a little bit and then straight through the woods I'm thinking right uh, let's put the marker here yeah sure we should be able to get there like straight through the woods I hope yeah yeah totally totally possible There she is. Now, I need what's it called? Pretty sure I'll recognize it if, I, if it's here. That's Valerian, right? Well, let's buy. I know. Let's buy all ten. It's not like. And any alchem alchemy tables here? There's probably some some here. Where where though? Uh, inside her house? Yes, yes there is. Okay, let's start doing alchemy stuff. So, no one back. Prepare clean water. One handful of valerian two of thistle and some charcoal drop the thistle in cauldron and boil for two turns okay add valerian and boil for one more turn leave to cool finally add the charcoal but do not boil okay got it um do i have thistle on me okay so first we need to Drop thistle in the cauldron and boil for two turns. Then add the valerian for one uh, and boil for one turn. Then let it cool and then let charcoal. But do not boil. Okay. And we need to add water as the base. Okay. Mm, first we need to add valerian, right? No, no, thistle in the charcoal in the cauldron and boil for two turns. Thistle first, char cauldron, and boil for two turns. Well, let's make it burn boiling. And one turn. Oh, now it has sounds. I don't think the last time I did it, it had sounds. And hourglass, second turn. Okay. And now we need to add valerian. Right? Add valerian, boil. Oh, I needed two thistle. Yeah, goddammit. Let's restart. I needed two thistles, right? Right. Drop the thistle in the cauldron boil. Yeah. Well, okay. Let's prep everything. Water. Drop it. So, drop it and boil for two turns. Okay, starts boiling, sand glass. One turn. Let's uh, boil it a bit more. And sand glass again. Okay, and the 
Valerian. And sunglass. And boil it for one more turn. Okay, and let it cool down. And then we'll need to add the charcoal. Uh, it's boiling way too long. I wonder if it will ruin the potion. Come on, stop. But we'll see. <laughs> uh, I guess I shouldn't have lighted it so early. I guess I should have well left it to cool for longer. Uh, I think I ruined it. Okay. We'll see though. Okay, uh, did it really work? Let's try it one more time, I guess. Well, it says prepare the remedy is completed. You know what? Just in case. Water. I guess I shouldn't, bo uh, like, boil it that long. Just in case. And... Thistle twice. Start boiling it. One. Okay, one more. Okay, it started boiling. It's boiling. One more. And sun glass. I guess I uh, will bellow it once more. So make sure it continue boil. And valerian. And drop it. And one more bellow. And it's boiling, just in case, we'll turn that, but I'm pretty sure that it will not be necessary. Well, maybe. I think that's that should be it. We'll leave it to cool, and then we'll drop the charcoal. Okay, and should be cooling now, right? Come on, stop being steamy and all, and drop the charcoal. Okay, that should be that. Okay, if those will not help, I know what will. Okay, off we go to Merhoyed. Um, yeah, Brother Nicodemus, here I come. I don't care about the carcass. Almost there. Hopefully nobody died there yet. Nobody important, that is. Right. Over t off we go to here. Uh, Nicodemus, where the hell are you? Mm. How are the sick doing? Are the wounded and sick getting better, brother? Some will soon go to the Lord. All we can do is give them the last rites. But others will be granted a longer time here on Earth. 
So you don't have so many sick and injured now? Well, yes. But the whole monastery is being rebuilt for the greater glory of God. And there have been accidents. Broken bones and bruises aren't... Not surprising. That's not what, what I'm... I don't know. You'll have to... What, what was that? Um, okay, whatever. That was some other quest. How are things looking here? So, here I am. How are things looking? It doesn't look good at all, my boy. Do you have the potion? Yes, here it is. I'll take four doses, you take the rest, and let's split up. I'll see to the straw family while you deal with Melikar's wife and the rest. They wouldn't let me go near that prisoner. They want him to suffer. Despite his terrible crimes, to treat a fellow mortal soul like that. Uh, I help. I help them. They have to let me see them. Perhaps I'll be able to convince them. I promised I'd bring them help, and I've kept my word. They must let me go to him. I hope so. But in the short while I've been here, I found the locals to be rather stubborn. Okay. Um, what do we need to do? Give the cure to the sick. So is he? He's dealing with this. This is the straw. Let's go to the... All the rest of them, I guess. So... Uh, you? Where's his damn wife? I don't know, there she is. If you, if you just moved, Johanka... Uh, May the Lord watch over you, Henry. Really? What is my potion? Do I... How do I... How do I give it to them? Is it in food stuff? Artemisia potion. It for Merha had dirt. I have two of them. Be a bit more oh, shut up. Oh, son of a... Wait, wait a second. How, how am I to help them? I have the potions, but he didn't take one. She's, uh, okay. Let's go and see if we can help the other people, I guess, for now. And we'll be back. I guess. That was one of the houses. Uh, let's talk to Vincent here. You're back. Of course. Mm -hmm. I don't doubt that, naturally. Mm -hmm. Did you deliver my word? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I took it to the priest. Nice securely in the safekeeping of Father. What a relief. Don't worry, I brought a remedy from... Drink this regularly, you and everyone in the house. A remedy? You have hands of gold, pure gold, my boy. God bless you. Okay. Uh, I guess I don't have to talk to him. I need probably to talk to the, the bailiff, I guess. Oh, there he is, Melikar. Good health to you, sir. Uh, I... Found what causes the ailment. Found out what could be the cause of the affliction. And? You should check where your water's coming from. Nicodemus and I think that it comes down to poisoning. It'd be hard to poison the spring, but what about the well? Good lord, that's difficult to believe. Well, I have my suspicions. The bastards weren't satisfied with killing young straw. The fucking bastards! Okay, um... Uh, about that prisoner? I brought you help, will you let me see the captive? I brought some help, as promised. Will you let me see the prisoner? I will let you, I will. Of course I will. My boy, if you've really brought a potion to rid us of this scourge, I'll let you do anything. Ah, whether I've managed to rid you of the scourge, that remains to be seen. It'll take a few days before we know whether the potion worked. I know, but even so. Okay. Uh, thank Nicodemus. What's up? Uh, well, 
Radzig. Yeah, thank Radzig. He's the one who decided to help you. Sir Radzig is a goodly lord. I swear I'll never utter another word again. Now open up that. Okay, before we do that though, let's continue helping everybody else who needs help, I guess. So that's one. Who else was there? Uh, one in that house, the woman in that house. Uh, well, let's go and see. Where is she? You're back. You. Yes, and I have something to make you well again. Good Lord above. Thank you for showing us your mercy. Drink this and give it to everyone in the house. I've also brought someone who will take care of you until you get back on your feet. Thank you, good Samaritan. Okay. Now, I think this one should be the last. Considering that, that guy, what's his name? Basically local bailiff or, or something. Uh, you. Brother, is that you? Yes, yes, the sled. Just you drink this and you'll be fine. Is this holy water? It is. Drink some and give it to the others in the house too. Brother Nicodemus will come to check on you. Uh, okay, I guess I need to visit that, that house with, what's his name? Mishik or something like that? Or maybe I need to talk to Straw. Nope. Okay, they opened the door, I guess. So that's good. Melikar, that was his name. Good God, you look terrible. Uh, okay, that doesn't work. I've been to this house, I think I've been... Hmm. Have I been to all the houses? Come on, woman. Anybody here? Johanka? God damn it. Yeah, I've, I've definitely been here. I helped here. So I, I need to help to help Melikar, but he refuses my help. Maybe I need to help the the prisoner or something. Well, let's go talk to the prisoner first, I guess. Um, or maybe I need to talk to Matthias. Matthias. Okay, this guy first. Where are the rest of the sick? Like, I, I've delivered it to everybody except except him. Gods. We found out what could and Okay. Be hard. I have my bastard. Nope. Go, go away. <laughs> I leveled up my speech. That's weird. Whatever, let's go talk to what's his name. Um, but you know what, I think I'll do it in the next episode. For now I'll make a cut, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and goodbye.